Hello everyone, welcome to Dr. Ravi's Academy. In today's uh, virtual class, you will be understanding the mass moment of inertia of a circular ring about uh, x, y and z axis which is perpendicular to the board. For this, let us consider an element at an angle theta, include angle is d theta and this uh, element length is r d theta. Now, let us assume that m is the total mass and uh, the circumference is 2 pi r and if you multiply with m then mass will be small m will be mass per unit length. So, this is uh, so m is uh, now it is uh, mass per unit length and uh, write the expression for elemental mass that is dm dm is equal to it is uh, m into length is r d theta. So, this is the expression for the elemental mass and write down the expression for mass moment of inertia about x axis i x is equal to the distance is this is r and r sin theta. So, integral it is r sin theta whole square that is distance square into dm. So, substitute dm value you have uh, m is constant and r is constant this is r square. So, you are going to get m r cube which is outside and integral sin theta that is sin square theta d theta and limits are 0 to 2 pi and this is a standard integration and value is pi. So, m r cube into pi and m value substitute from this it is m is equal to it is capital M divided by 2 pi r multiplied by it is r cube into pi and of course pi and you have r square and the value is m r square by 2. So, this is i x value. Similarly, i y value. i y is equal to it is uh, in place of uh, r sin theta you have r cos theta. So, integral r cos theta whole square into d m and this value is uh, you know r square d m substitute this and you have r square and 1 r that is m r cube which is outside integral it is cos square theta d theta and 0 to 2 pi and this value is also pi and this becomes you know uh, m r cube into pi. So, replace this small m and you have capital M divided by it is 2 pi r into r cube into pi and you have it is uh, r square and it is again m r square by 2. So, your i y also m r square by 2 